Mojang just released a new update for Minecraft 1.21 with some big changes to the trial chambers, the heavy core item, and the mace. We have new advancements and even some new information regarding hardcore mode on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is the newest snapshot and beta for Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition, so let's hop into it. First up, we have some changes to the trial chambers. These guys are going to generate a little bit less frequently and they're going to be a bit more spaced out now. Previously, you could find these things within like a couple hundred blocks of each other and they'd basically be in a straight line but now they're going to be a little bit less common so you'll have to search just a bit more to find these guys now luckily for everyone mojang has made it so the cartographer villagers will now sell a trial chambers map so you can buy these guys at the journeyman level which is like level three so it's going to take a few trades to upgrade these guys to the proper level but once you do you'll be able to buy the trial chambers map and of course this thing will direct you to the nearest trial chamber as you can see from the little square icon right there and of course the top of the map is always north so our icon is in the bottom left of the map meaning that we need to go northeast and of course these things can generate basically anywhere underground so you might be under an ocean you might be under a mountain you you got a lot of terrain to dig through either way and here is the trial chamber that it directed us to so these things are going to be incredibly useful for finding these otherwise they're going to be pretty hard to find in regular survival unless you're using something like a chunk base and then we have some interesting updates to the heavy core item this is of course the item that you get from the trial chambers if you're lucky of course you gotta defeat one of these spawners get a key use that on the vault and then you have a 2.2 percent chance of getting this heavy core item and of course this is the item that you use to craft the mace with a breeze rod as well now of course this is somewhat like a block you can actually place it down and the sounds are amazing now this thing is actually the exact same size as a regular mob skull, like a skeleton or with a skeleton skull. However, unlike mob heads, you can't place them on the sides of walls, as you can see here. It's just always in the same orientation. Now because it's just like a skull, we, we gotta try it. I'm so sad. So we have a couple of small and basic changes to it. First of all, it can now be waterlogged, which is nice, so we can use it in decorations and whatnot. It does still burn in lava, even though it does not get flowed away by lava sources, as you can see here. So it's not like a torch, it's like a regular block. Lava isn't going to break it by flowing through it. And the new most efficient tool for the heavy core is the pickaxe. This is efficiency 5 netherite, and as you can see, it is still really slow to mine. So this thing truly is a very dense block. It's just very dense. Wow, that takes that takes a long time to mine. I ran out of things to say like 30 seconds ago, but geez, there you go. Overall, would not recommend placing this down because there is no reason to right now, and it's also gonna take you forever to remove it. Interestingly, it's also a movable block as well, so this might have some uses for a bunch of different things, actually. Okay, this block is actually really great. So if we place a piece of TNT on there, you're gonna see that it doesn't get destroyed? Hello there! my new favorite block okay then we we are in business it also just completely absorbed all of the explosion damage from that piece of tnt so nothing else in the area got damaged very interesting very interesting indeed there's a heavy core in there and i just really want to see what happens when we blow this thing up Yep, it's totally fine, which makes perfect sense because it takes forever to mine with a big X. We've had blocks similar to this before, like the reinforced deep slate. This was a movable block at one point, and of course it's also immune to explosions, but then they removed that feature because we built wither cages with it. So maybe it's time to build a wither cage with this thing. Now we gotta do it, just for science, guys, for science. Let's spawn a wither in here and just see what happens. Of course, this is way more cores than you'd probably ever get in a survival world. Oh, no, it's not a wither cage. I'm so sad. I am I'm so so sad. We we could have had nice things, but nope. No nice things allowed. Ah, so sad, man. Mojang, why do you have to think of all these things? You gotta leave something for us to exploit. Come on now, cheese. Taking all the bugs away before I can even have fun with my bugs. Ah, cheese. I'm so excited for this, but Mojang's added seven new advancements to Java Edition, which means that we're likely gonna get seven new achievements for Minecraft on Bedrock Edition as well. So the first one is just to simply enter a trial chambers. As you can see, I'm outside of it right now, and as soon as we actually get inside the structure, then we get Minecraft Trials Edition. The next one is under lock and key. So if you unlock a vault using a trial key, you will get this one. 
We got an armor trim first try. You know how rare that is? Oh my god. That was all the luck I'm ever gonna get for these armor trims. I'm gonna try and get these in survival. It's gonna take me like 50 of these bolts. I just know it. The next one is a challenge and it might actually be a proper challenge. So you're gonna have to kill a breeze by deflecting one of the breeze projectiles back at it. So these guys take five hits from a diamond sword. So I'm gonna hit him four times. If I get close to him, geez. And now he's super weak. And now we should be able to like punch back these charges. There we go. Just kind of keep spamming it. It's kind of like a ghast really, but you got to get a direct hit there for him to actually die. And as you can see, we got the blowback challenge. This next one's pretty easy. You just got to jump at least eight blocks by using the wind charges. So you can go up a pillar kind of like this. So I thought you had to like shimmy your way up the wall using this, but it's actually way simpler. You just jump onto slime like this and bam, you get a lot of height out of that. Jeez, that was pretty, that was pretty fun actually. I like that a lot. Let's try that again. Bam, you really go flying. Is that how you're supposed to go with that? That makes a lot of a lot of fun so right after you bounce is when you need to throw it and then you can just get flying look at this wow i can only get about this high as my maximum jump there it's kind of hard to get the timing right and sometimes these things just go flying off to the side as you can see there that's uh very buggy the next one's probably the easiest one to get you just need to be near a crafter as it's crafting a crafter so we power that and bam we got crafters crafting crafters the next one is really easy you just need to scrape a copper bulb to make it brighter and that's going to give you the lighten up advancement and you'll probably also get the wax off advancement as well we actually have a very good sign for the mason not getting any nerfs in this snapshot as well so as you are aware you can basically one hit kill anything in the game with this and there's a new advancement called over overkill and of course i think the fun way to do this is to jump off the highest pillar in all the lands and one hit kill a warden using this which is actually pretty easy as you can see there bam over overkill and caves and cliffs in one go so here's hoping that the mesa doesn't get any nerfs it's gonna be an incredibly rare and hard to get weapon for survival mode and the risk versus reward is also pretty steep as well sure you might be able to one hit kill any boss or anything that you want but you might also just flat up die because fall damage is painful and uh, you know what? I already took an arrow to the knee and I, I can't afford any, any falls right now. And moving over to the latest Bedrock Edition beta. This actually released like early so I can actually show it in one of these videos for once on time. Bedrock Edition also got the Trial Chamber map from the Cartographer Villagers, but we also have a few other unique features. So first of all, there is a new friend screen. So if you go to the Add Friend tab right here, you can see that there's going to be a QR code to add as a friend, which I'm going to block out because... You get, I just, you probably shouldn't share that online with the public. And then as you can see, there's also recommended friends. There's recently played with, and then there's also all of your followers as well. We're so close to a thousand. Maybe I should share that QR. So yeah, just a nice and new way to be able to find friends. And this is basically integrated directly with Xbox, it would seem. We also have some updates for hardcore on Bedrock Edition. So whenever you go to edit a world, you're going to see there's this little hardcore mode toggle right here. They did actually fix the spelling of it in the most recent preview. So so they're doing something with it. Now, as you can see, you can't actually turn on this toggle on an existing world, which makes sense. I did try to create a new world with this. And as you can see, there is nowhere to turn on the hardcore toggle, at least with the new UI. So anyway, I made a new world and I turned it into hardcore using world edit. So as you can see, that toggle is now on. Now, when the hardcore toggle is on, it's going to lock basically all of your world settings. As you can see, some settings are disabled because you selected hardcore mode when creating this world so we can't change our game mode we can't change the difficulty the world preferences are always locked after you create the world anyway and as you see world options are also locked as well so you won't be able to change any of these things once you create your worlds i was able to turn on coordinates using world edit but i don't know if you'll be able to turn those on when you're actually creating the world of course we also can't turn on any of the experiments and we can't turn on cheats either now if we actually load the world as you can see there's no hardcore hearts and when you die you still respawn so it's not fully implemented yet they're just kind of getting the basics of it together and as you can see when you die you're still going to be able to respawn so the hardcore isn't properly working that might have been because i turned it on with world edit but there was no other way to get that toggle turned on that i could find we also have a couple of changes to 
the death screen that you might have noticed. So as you can see, you're going to be put into third person mode automatically when you die. And this is the new death screen. So this is the default one. Previously, this was like an experimental little test that they were doing. But this is officially the new default death screen for Bedrock Edition. Mojang also fixed the weird drowning bug that was happening. So as you can see, if you're at the surface of the water like this, our bubbles are going to replenish and we're not going to drown. Previously, this situation was treated as if you were still underwater. So you would still drown if you were like this. They also fixed it so that now if you're just holding the jump button when you go up to the surface, you're not going to keep drowning either, which is very nice. A nice little bug fix. Any wolf that you summon using summon commands will actually be tameable now. So as you can see, we can go ahead and click on this guy with a little bone and he's going to love us and he'll actually sit and follow us too. This has been a bug on Bedrock Edition for like uh, the entire time. Yeah, the entire time that Bedrock's existed. We also have another small change to wolves. So now whenever you're using spawn eggs or summon commands, if you're in any Mesa biome, they're always going to be this striped variant. And this change also applies to the savanna and the jungle biomes as well. My skin is invisible and that's just beta things for you. This just makes these guys a lot easier to get in creative mode. Oh my god, it's an armadillo. Now, shouldn't the wolves attack armadillos? I think that would make sense. It just seems like that should be part of the game. I would say goodbye, but my skin is completely invisible, so I guess we'll just switch over to this one real quick. Anyway, that's about all the updates for today's Bedrock Beta and Snapshot. If you enjoyed the video, then of course, make sure to subscribe. That way you don't miss future Minecraft news. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys down in the comments and in the next one.